Hi, you guys. My name is Rob Paulson. And I'm Maurice LaMarche. And you know us better as Pinky and the Brain. Yes. Yes. And today we're here to surprise and perhaps take over some of our fans. Yes. So we're doing something pretty fun today. We are going to be playing you some audio clips of classic animated characters. And we're going to see who can guess who they are first. That's so fun. <laughs> You're going down, Kennedy. Oh, yeah. okay. Well, we'll see about that, Jason. <laughs> Here's the first one. Oh, okay. Sorry, Brain. No, I'm Pinky. Pinky. And the brain. Pinky and the Brain was correct, but the actual correct answer was just Pinky. So Ashley okay. got it. Yay. <laughs> They're really iconic characters. I think that's why my brain just said Pinky and the Brain, because I always just associate them together. Oh. Okay. Sorry, Brain. No. Oh, that's uh, oh. Pinky. Yeah. Pinky the Brain. <laughs> Jason got it. All right. Yeah, that guy's voice is so distinct. Oh, okay. Sorry, Brain. Oh. No. That's Pinky. Yeah. That goes to Scott. That was like what one of my favorite shows. Brain? Same thing we do every night, Pinky. The same thing we do every night, Pinky. The brain, that's Pinky, that's the yeah, brain right there. I keep just overthinking and then I'm like, wait, am I correct? And then he just beats me to the punch. The same thing we do every night, no, Pinky. Try to... That was close, that, that was... was really close. I'll give you both a point for that one. You are correct, that was Brain from Pinky and the Brain. <laughs> yes, and that show is great. I, I miss that show. <laughs> the same thing we do every night, Pinky. Try to... Brain? Go it's Brain. <laughs> brain is the correct answer. <laughs> Chelsea said it first. <laughs> Some of those voices are pretty much our entire childhood, so I think we can spot them in a lot of places. So you may have already caught on to this, but today's episode is in honor of the 25th anniversary of Pinky and the Brain. Wow, 25th anniversary? Five <laughs> years? That's crazy. Can you guys talk a little bit about what this show meant to you? There's something about it that just was always so fun. It was just so different than any other cartoon. Me and some friends from work uh, found out about the cartoon and started watching it. And one of the big draws was the fact that the humor was adult oriented as well as kid oriented. We could get something out of it as well as the kids. It's something that's so like, I guess, cool and something I connect with a lot, especially now is because the brain is played by one of my close friends' dads, and Aww. it's, yeah, and, and he's one of the best people I know. I remember rushing home to, to watch it, like, from the bus stop, like, running, so I would not miss Pinky and the Brain, and I can't believe it's been 25 years! All right, well, now we're gonna make things a little harder. We're gonna play you oh. a scene from the show and see if you can remember which episode it's from. Oh, God, I'm not gonna oh. get this. <laughs> Pinky, are you pondering what I'm pondering? I think so, Brain, but if Kieran and Scott are here, shouldn't they be somewhere else? It's quite fascinating to see them both enjoying our show, and we're 150 years old. No, there's a, there's a no. What? what? <laughs> no, Pinky, our plan for world domination. We will recruit fans of the Pinky and the Brain show, like Jason and Kennedy. <laughs> what a great idea. No. No way. That is cool. No, Pinky. We will recruit <laughs> Ashley to, to be totally honest. <laughs> I can't. And admit that she Wait. knows the son of Maurice Lamarche. <laughs> oh. Yes. Wait. Oh, dear. That's a conflict of interest. I don't even know what the hell I'm doing. I'm clearly, <laughs> clearly you're the genius. So, we actually <laughs> have the voices of Pinky and the Brain here with us today. So, what? Kieran, Scott, no. me, Rob, and Maurice. <laughs> hey. hey, guys. Oh, my gosh. Hey, yeah. Dad, look at those smiling faces. <laughs> They're so beautiful. Yes. It's so weird. It doesn't feel real. <laughs> exactly. Really you should see cool. it from our side. It doesn't feel real to us either. <laughs> Mine is blown. Mine is blown big time. I'm like warm. I feel like my cheeks are, are red and, and the teary eyed thing is definitely happening because <laughs> like, something. oh my gosh, dude. Yeah. It's like, that's my childhood. It's like my childhood and like these voices and then seeing what like the voices look like in person too. 
My yeah. brain is, is tripping out. It's really cool to see you guys do the voices live because I've never asked Maurice to do any of the voices because I always get like shy. But it's oh, it's really right. it's really cool. Obviously, Rob and Mo are the voices of the iconic Pinky and the Brain, but they also voice some other classic Animaniac characters. We did. So <laughs> So even though we're celebrating the anniversary of Pinky and the Brain, we thought it would also be fun to take a look at some of the other voices that they're known for while they're here with you today. Oh, I'm Dear so down. God, bitch. I know I love it. The good feathers, right? Good feathers, yeah. right? Is it good feathers? Is that what? Yes! Is that what were? Oh my gosh. Hey, I love a sound of a beak. Beak? Carluda got beaked? Mo, you're so good. <laughs> wasn't it? He thinks I beat noodles and he beat the one I love for revenge. Fantastic. They got beaked. Who yeah, beat I know. These I mean, like, <laughs> they got whacked. Instead of getting whacked, they got beaked. Yeah, we couldn't, like... say, we couldn't say whacked or killed. Right. Mo is the voice of one of the characters in that scene, Squit the Good Feather. Yep, Squid Pigeon, <laughs> the Peacemaker. The peacemaker, the storyteller, the narrator. I see, you know, Jason, what you were saying about how the show is definitely for kids and adults at the same time. Now that I'm older, I watch it and it's, I'm like, whoa. Isn't that great? That was in the thing, yeah. Now, when you wake from sleepy time, oh. you will no longer be zany. Huh? <laughs> I love that guy. Like children <laughs> who like to sit and be really quiet. Now, <laughs> wake up. Are you still zany? Only our hairdresser knows for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Stop that! Sit down! <laughs> what are you? I That's have no crazy. idea. That was another Rob character, Dr. Scratch and Sniff. Yeah, that was me too. I stole that voice from Peter Sellers in Dr. Strangelove. Ah. Oh. It's like this time machine for me. Like I'm fixing yeah. my house in Vista, like the time of day when the television was on. And when I was watching this, and I can I can see the neighbor's house across the Oh, driveway. I love that. It's really weird because I remember that episode a lot. Oh. Um, and just, I didn't know that was you. And it's crazy to know, like, your guys' range and voices is insane. Yeah. I'll tell you, from all the people my, banging around in my cabeza, <laughs> I really appreciate that so very much from you. Thank you, my <laughs> darling. <laughs> And of course, we couldn't do a Pinky and the Brain episode without showing a scene from the show. What, a frog? Yes. Its skin gives off a powerful hypnotic fluid full of active peptides. No! <laughs> what is NARF? Do you mind telling me what that is? Well, let's see. It's like... Dot! Or, um... Boink! We must devise a plan to draw thousands of people here to ingest it and become hypnotized. You mean like... A gigantic pancake jamboree. Nice, <laughs> nice. <laughs> that's our first. That's our first primetime episode, if I'm not mistaken. Yes. So, Rob and Maurice, would you be willing to give our reactors a little tutorial on how to do these voices? Uh, yeah, now you got. Now you got celebrity coaches. <laughs> to do brain properly, um, you, you must. You must go deep, deep right. and bitter. Get really, really cheesed off about the fact that you haven't taken over the world in 20 years, yes, yes, do the yes. The yes is very important. <laughs> deep and bitter. This is as deep and bitter as I go. <laughs> yes, I will take over the world. Yes, Excellent. yes, yes. All right, Scott, nice, nice. well nice. done. Yes. Nice. Cool. Excellent. Uh, open up the throat, open up, uh, see. All right, yes. That was good. Very good. If you're going to do Pinky, you can't go deep and dark. You go high and silly. La, 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 because ignorance is bliss. Let me tell you, I'm a terribly blissful mouse. What I would like you two ladies to do is say, hey, God, nerf. Try that. Do you want hey to go God, for it? Nerf. <laughs> hey, God, nerf. Hey, God, nerf. I can't do it. <laughs> Ultimately, it's about nerf. So if you can have a little bit of gravel and nerf. Try that. I don't know if my voice does that, but... Narf! Oh, perfect. Narf! <laughs> do it, dude. I'd rather do the... the, the talking Narf! Perfect. Great. Brain, I'm a... 
I have a feeling we'd better watch ourselves because if we ask for more money, these people will do it and they're much better and younger. All right, well, we hope that you guys had some fun Thank playing you. with these voices and celebrating the 25th anniversary of Pinky and the Brain today. But before we go, obviously, Kennedy, Jason, you're actually sitting here with Pinky and the Brain right now. So is there anything that you've always wanted to ask them? Because now is your chance. Brain, answer me this. What what's What's the first step into taking over the world at this point in time? Firing Pinky. <laughs> Getting rid of Pinky. After 25 years, I finally learned it's Pinky. This is for both Pinky and the Brain. What is the meaning of life? The meaning of life is a chia pet. The meaning of life is love, luck, and lollipops. Oh, yeah. he can play love, luck, and lollipops. No. Yes, it's fun, fun, silly willy. <laughs> Just like today has been. What's the most challenging character that you've ever had to voice for? I was on a show called The Critic in uh, the early 90s, and I did almost every celebrity impression. In one episode, I think I did 27 voices. I did an animated version of The Mask in which I was Jim Carrey for a lot less money. Um, I remember watching and that. that was, yeah, that was probably the most challenging because in every half hour, Stanley Ipkiss would take on, you know, various different uh, characters when he put the mask on, depending upon the storyline. That was challenging, but great fun. What can we expect? Like, is there anything that you can sort of let us in on for oh. the reboot and everything? You can expect, uh, I think we're safe to say, you can expect yeah. that we're playing the parts again. Expect the show to come into the 2020s mm -hmm. and to have a bit more of an edgy sensibility to it. I can also tell you that, uh, as Yakko, that the Animaniacs are very self-aware. They are very clear that they have the 20-odd years has gone past. So, uh, so yeah, the hilarious hijinks ensue. It'll be great. We'd like to thank all of you at FBE on behalf of Mo and myself for giving us this incredibly wonderful opportunity to just laugh and smile and get all Fun, fun, silly willy with everybody. We got to meet some wonderful fans. We had a fantastic time on the show today. We did. And in a word, nerf.